morning family i hope you are all doing well and find yourselves full of hope and joy despite the yeah the rather unusual year we've all had um i'm actually sitting in my car i came out here to actually shoot this video on the rocks um but the wind is so strong i <laughs> you won't be able to hear me if i go out on the rocks today so i'm actually just sitting in my car and i'm hoping you can see the sea behind me a little bit here but we're going to take communion this morning and so if you want to go and grab the stuff that you need for communion just put this video on pause um, and go and grab the communion and we're going to share this as a family together this morning i want to just read a, a passage quickly and it comes out of the book of hebrews hebrews 6 verse 19 to 20 and it says this hope we have as an anchor of the soul both sure and steadfast and which enters the presence behind the veil where the forerunner has entered for us even jesus having become a high priest and it's talking about this hope we have as an anchor of our soul jesus christ and i want to just testify of this uh, many of you know catherine has been um, very sick over the last four months in fact she's been bedridden for most of the last four months and it included two very delicate surgeries at vincent Pilati left us with um, some rather challenging realities we have to face but through all of that I want to testify that God's grace has been so strong with us God's hope has been incredible God's joy has just been filled in our lives and I have to testify that despite all the adversity we've faced and despite the journey we have and are still going through um, God's hope has been so incredible in us. God's joy has been alive in us. And, and just so you know, Catherine is making recovery um, a little bit every day. She's much better now. So thank you so much for all the incredible prayers and the support that we've received from people all over the country. It has been incredible. The love and the community we have seen across South Africa over this time just toward our family. So thank you for all of that. But it just did remind me, this verse reminds me that despite our adversity, despite what we go through in life, we can have tremendous hope in Christ. And I'm hoping you can see this, but if you look down there at the waves, um, you can't really see, oh, you sort of can see it on the video. But the waves are really strong this morning. The wind is, is really pumping out there. It's bringing in some big swells from offshore. And it is crashing against these rocks just down the way there. You might see one of these waves hit the rocks and it creates this big spray. And, but this, I often come here to pray in the mornings. Um, and if you look down there, those waves are hitting those rocks really hard. But those rocks are standing strong. Those rocks have been taking the pounding of the waves for many, many years. And they're still there. And despite the pounding of the waves and the power of the waves those rocks aren't moving and it always reminds me that in the same way those rocks would stand the power of the waves our lives can withstand the circumstances of life can withstand adversity if our lives are built on the rock if our lives are founded on the rock of Christ then our lives become immovable it doesn't matter what happens in our economy or circumstance or adversity if our life is built on the rock of Christ we can have hope and joy and peace despite any circumstance we face because of who he is and this hope let me read this again this hope we have is an anchor of the soul it is both sure and it is steadfast and this hope we have is made possible because Jesus Christ died and was raised from the dead he didn't just die he died but he was resurrected from the dead and our hope rests in him and so this morning as we take communion we are going to celebrate him we're going to celebrate what he has done for us and that we can have hope and joy in him despite what we faced. So we're going to just pray now and then we're going to take a moment for communion. Father, I want to thank you for each one of our lives. I thank you for your grace and your strength on us. And I pray, God, that we, every single one of us, would have hope in you, joy in you despite the adversity we face. And I pray, Father, that we would just take a moment here to celebrate you and remember you at all times in our life for what you've done. Thank you for dying on the cross. And thank you, God, for raising Jesus Christ from the dead that we may have hope in him. In Jesus' name, amen. 